Welcome back, everyone. The monarch butterfly population is dwindling. Meteorologist Danielle Dozier went to the Oklahoma City Zoo where they're tagging butterflies to try and learn why there are fewer monarchs flying around. The story's new at six. Here at the Butterfly Garden at the Oklahoma City Zoo, they are tagging monarch butterflies in an effort to track their migration. It's a long journey from Canada to Mexico for the monarch, the longest migrating butterfly in the world, and the population has been cut in half in the last 10 years. There, we're going to place it right on top of it. The Oklahoma City Zoo started tagging the monarchs about four weeks ago with a sticker that they place on the wing of the butterfly. We weren't noticing as many butterflies come through earlier in the season. Typically, we get warmer days earlier in the summer. This year has been a wetter than normal and a little cooler than normal. There are about four generations of the butterfly. Throughout the year, they fly in higher elevations and typically when it's sunny because they need warmth in their wings. The monarchs are known to follow cold fronts to better help push them along. Right now, the main migration is in southern Kansas and northern Oklahoma, but will be in the metro soon. So, in the next couple of days, I'm thinking that cool front should push them down in the Oklahoma City area pretty easily. And the Oklahoma City Zoo will be ready for them to arrive, tracking them along the way. Meteorologist Danielle Dozier, KOCO 5 News.